In 2019, we had a lot of great moments in hip hop. Meek Mill and Drake reunited on Going Bad, newcomers like The Baby and Meg Thee Stallion shine brightly, and J. Cole decided to do features. Though after killing people off on their own songs, he, rappers don't even like rapping with me. he might be stuck doing albums by himself forever. Cold World! My boy. My brother, big bro, city, big bro. bro right there. Yeah, I knew it, bro. But let's be honest, you're not here for the great moments. You're here for the worst moments. And in 2019, there was a lot of terrible, terrible moments. moments. I go by the name of Cleo Thomas, AKA Mr. Slick Living, and I will be your host today, walking you through the top five worst moments in hip hop this year. Well, I'll see you tomorrow then. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> oh, bye bye. <laughs> This is a part of Hip Hop DX's annual Turkey Award, where we give out awards to the people who played themselves the most in 2019. And you can find the full list at hiphopdx.com slash turkeyawards. We created a special award for each person, and in this video, we're giving out five of them. Without further ado, let's hand out some hardware. Number five, the Keeping It Too Frank Award goes to the crowd at Camp Flognaw for booing the biggest artist in the world. Uh, listen, to the odd future crowd, we know you guys are different. You guys don't like mainstream. You hate The Rock, you hate Will Smith, you love Jaden Smith though. You do not like LeBron James. You guys hate Nikes. Most of you use Android phones. You guys just have your own lane. We get it. But you booed one of the biggest artists of the generation. You guys wanted Frank Ocean. He was never advertised to be there. He was never going to be there. And you guys booed Drake because of it? Listen, we'll see you guys next year. Number four, the self-proclaimed GOAT award goes to Jacquees, who went on a rant and let the world know that he is the undisputed king of R&B. Yeah, listen dog, uh, you would be that. You would have that title as the king of R&B if we didn't have artists like Chris Brown, Usher, Trey Songs, Miguel, Frank Ocean, Weekend, Drake's B-Side, Party Next Door. L listen, all great singers, and I'm sure you're very talented. I'm sure you get on that stage and you know you do your little dance, and it's great. See, here's my thing. Look, you gotta understand, guys. Like, I come from the music industry. I've done a lot of stuff. I got a chance to tour with some of the biggest and greatest artists. I had a lot of fun. But there's one thing I realized about all these short R&B guys. They're all short. Bobby Valentino, two of the members from Pretty Ricky, Omarion, Marcus Houston, the rest of IMX slash Immature. All of these guys, five, six, and below. So I don't know what it is about them. It's the scrappy do in them. I gotta warn you, you're dealing with scrappy do. That's more like it. Yes. They just gotta make sure that they put all of their emotion out there for the world to see, hey, I'm king. Here's your award, buddy. Number three, the Cloud Chaser of the Year Award goes to this man who tried to hit Cardi B with a Me Too moment, and it backfired. I would like to keep this man's name anonymous, but since he picked the most generic name in the book, we'll just go ahead and say it. Kevin Smith, the Cloud Chaser Award winner. There was an old clip that resurfaced of Cardi B claiming that she would drug men and take advantage of them because they were interested in taking Cardi back home for some fun time. Kevin Smith saw this as a come up opportunity. Why not fabricate a story with the little facts that you know to make it seem like, hey, you might have been one of those men that Cardi B took advantage of. And that's exactly what Kevin Smith did. He has this elaborate story of him going to the strip club with his trainer, seeing Cardi B, letting her know, hey, I'd like to take you back to the hotel. Her saying, okay. Him being in the hotel with Cardi, him having a drink, him going to use the restroom, him coming back to finish his drink, and then woke up the next morning with a condom on the floor, $850 missing, and a stolen iPod touch. She stole the iPod Touch in this story? Kevin, that's where you messed up right there, brother. You, what are you even doing with an iPod Touch? Point is, ladies and gentlemen, it is not worth fabricating a story for clout and chasing this fame and likes. And of course, Kevin Smith's brother, John Smith, 
later came out and claimed that nah, it was all a lie and that he ain't no sucker. Cloud Chaser of the Year Award 2019 winner, Kevin Smith, ladies and gentlemen. Number two, the somehow not the worst thing I've done all year award goes to Kodak Black for shooting his shot at Lauren London. Even as I'm currently recording this video, Kodak Black is incarcerated. He has to do three years on top of two more charges being added onto what he's currently going through in the legal system. Now, I've always been a Kodak Black fan. I love how authentic he is. That's what you see is what you get. I mean, J. Cole kind of gave us a peek into what's really going on in the kid's head on the Middle Child record. You guys remember the line? Had a long talk with the young nigga Kodak. Reminded me of young niggas from Ville. Straight out the project, no faking, just honest. I wish that he had more guidance for real. Social media caught a clip of Kodak Black kicking it with his homies and letting the world know, hey, look, I know Nipsey Hussle just passed or whatever, but you know, when Lauren London ready after that year, she got to at me. You know, I could be the shoulder for her to lean on. You know what I'm talking about? I just, I'm just saying I could be there for her. I act right, cause she a whole widow out here. Whew. Now, I understand why the world has that reaction. Kodak Black just being real about it. He knows that eventually she may want to move on and he want to be the first in line for that. It was way, way, way too early for anyone to be talking like that publicly after the passing of Nipsey Hussle, which Lauren London was married to. Kodak, I can't wait for you to be over all of this getting in trouble with the law stuff so I can have you back out here doing what you do best, being authentic, making great music, and just shining on <laughs> Yeah. And number one on the list, the We the Second Best Award goes to DJ Khaled over his temper tantrum being beat out by Tyler the Creator. This is the only time DJ Khaled landed at number one in 2019. DJ Khaled's Father of Assad album featured many artists such as Cardi B, 21 Savage, Chris Brown, Lil Wayne, Big Sean, SZA, Meek Mill, J Balvin, Lil Baby, Jeremiah, Travis Scott, Post Malone, Nipsey Hussle, John Legend, Nas, CeeLo Green, Meek Mill, Lil Baby again, Jeezy, Rick Ross, Lil Wayne again, Gunna, Jay-Z, Future, Beyonce, Justin Bieber, Chance the Rapper, Quavo, Big Sean again, and uh, more. Wow. If DJ Khaled could make that many phone calls and get everybody in the studio for his album, it, it makes sense that it should be the biggest album of the year, but no, 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 no. Those odd future guys, those odd future guys who don't like mainstream, who play by their own rules, who do what they want to do, and they support their leader, and that is Tyler, the creator, who beat out DJ Khaled with all of those features by himself. Tyler, the creator, produced his album, wrote on his album, helped compose different things to put it all together. Tyler, the creator, has full credits for this album. And he beat out DJ Khaled with no features, just a blonde wig and a suit and a little bit of weird dancing on the stage, looking like he back in the 70s. I dug it. I get the aesthetic. It's cool. But for DJ Khaled to be that upset about the kid from the West Coast, by the way, doing his mysterious shit, as Khaled put it. It's called great music. It's called albums that you actually hear the songs. Not no mysterious shit and you never hear it. I'm in the back of this Maybach, you know, Versace shirt flowing in the wind in Miami. I'm father of a side. Life is blessed. That was great, cool Khaled, we get it but you can't be the person that you decided to not be from the beginning. You were always the guy saying, they, they, Khaled, they don't wanna see you succeed. They, 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 Khaled, you became they. There's a very famous quote from Batman that says, you either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Khaled, you became the villain in this situation, brother. You've done great music, you've had some great hits. I don't understand why many of the Beyonce and Jay-Z records with your name attached to it don't work, but they don't. With that being said, those are your five worst moments in hip hop of 2019. Make sure you guys head over to hiphopdx.com slash turkeyawards for our entire list because there is so much more to see. I go by the name of Cleo Thomas, aka Mr. Slick Living, and I'll see you guys right here for the 2020 Turkey Awards. 
Who gonna embarrass themselves in 2020, huh? Who wants some hardware, huh? We handing it out.